Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, we're gonna talk all things Tom Chalky. If you haven't been to that website before, it's a great resource for not only print on demand, but for graphic design. There's a lot of freebies on there. There's lots of fonts and textures and things. I'm gonna to go to that website and show you all the different things as well as show you a collaboration I did with Tom Chalky for this print on demand bundle that you're gonna see. We put together uh, 12 different things in here that will be useful for people who are in print on demand. So I'm gonna show you that at the end as well. So let's get into the Tom Chalky website so you can get familiar with it. All right, so here we are, tomchalky.com right there. And you can see there's so many things. You got an all access pass, shop, print. So in shop, there's a bunch of other things. You got fonts, which he's known a lot for. You're gonna see some of this below. Textures and brushes, which I, I love. Vintage illustrations, which is really cool. Um, we got prints, free downloads, newsletter, and reviews. So let's do all access pass first. You can see you can unlock his entire collection, signing up, um, get some really cool discounts. But look at all of this stuff. It's textures, and not all of it is free, but some of it is, is free. So you're gonna see some some of these things you can see free downloads right here uh, every once in a while you get a bunch of free downloads as well as when you sign up um, for it with your email you'll get a bunch of free downloads so if you if you love free downloads for your graphic stuff uh, this is the place to go I've used this a lot for years and years so it's really cool that I get to collaborate with him but you can see uh, some really cool fonts he adds fonts every so often and these, this one's one of the newer ones this headliner one I love it um, you may have seen um, Bobby Jones, I think. Uh, let me go to fonts here. There's a ton of fonts here. Um, some cool ones here. I use this one a lot. Brush, headliner is a good one, I think. And you can see I'm just doing a ton of fonts. Bobby Jones is one that you might have seen a lot. Uh, that's from him. And then you can have a whole bundle of fonts. So anyway. I can go on and on. There's just a ton and ton of stuff. I can't cover it all in here. But what I do wanna cover in this video is what we put together, uh, Tom Chalky and I put together a print on demand bundle. And you can't find it here. You're gonna to have to find it in the link that I put in the description. But let me show you what's inside of this bundle. So here we are, the Detour Shirts and Tom Chalky print on demand bundle. Isn't this cool? So for $29, you get all of these things. There's 12 different things. So I'm gonna go over each one um, but you can see we're gonna just scroll through this one right here. You got textures, you got antique typefaces, grunge paper so that you can um, put that texture on your design so you can have that little grunge, another grunge texture, love it. Uh, digital line art for flowers, labels, we love these badges and stuff. This will really help um, create some cool designs. Got some collections here. Um, fonts, like I said, this new headliner font I think is really cool. Uh, added it to here. Doodlings, you can put this on the side with, as if you need little things. Uh, another handwritten font, pretty cool. Another brush texture. Blueprints, this one's really cool. Um, blueprints are a very popular, like n not a lot of people use these blueprints for t-shirts and I think this could be really cool. Uh, and so on. So let's go, you can scroll down here and you can see it's a 300 and $5 value for just under 30 bucks. So like really cool. Um, you're getting it for like 10% of the price. So here we go. The first one, um, graphics collection, volume one. You got all these different things that you could use on t-shirts and put some text in here or you use them as backgrounds. You got these things like really cool stuff. So like 200 plus geometric graphics, right? And take a look at this. You can do two options. They do like this uh, nice, um, grunge kind of look, this textured look, and then not. So pretty cool. I like how, how that works out. And just some random shapes and things here. So you can use these. I would use these kind of in the background or maybe on the side of things if you have that. Or you can, you know, put stuff on top of it. Like I said, like um, this could be really good for like an outdoors thing with the mountains. And these could be cool on the side if you're doing some kind of a space theme. So Lots of cool designs that you could use. And there's t-shirts that just do geometric stuff too. So if you put some of these geometric things together and kind of in a nice way, I think th those could do well too. I have a, I have a bunch of geometric t-shirts that I sell uh, that would also be good for patterns. You could make a lot of these into patterns and, and put them on some uh, print on demand products. So lots of versatility just with this one right here, right? We're just on number one. So um, lots and lots you saw 
there's just tons of them like um add all of these up and that's that's how many are in just this collection so oh what does it say 660 images png and svg so really cool all right so the next one is this font which i love it's brand new uh, usually 49 dollars by itself but you're gonna get it as part of this whole bundle um, and I love it because it's different widths, right? Sometimes you need like a skinnier one. Sometimes you need a longer one. And there is, there's both. There's regular, there's condensed, there's bold. So a little fatter, a little skinnier. So love this. So you can use it depending on how long your words are. If you have a longer word, you might want to use the, the thinner condensed one. If you have a shorter word, you might want to use the bold one. And they work together so you can use these. A lot of people ask, you know, how do I put two or three fonts together well these all work together they're the same kind of font just different weights right so you could use a a bigger thick one uh on there as and pair it with a thinner one and it would work really 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 well so look at all these different ones it's just telling you this these are how many options for this one font in here so amazing this is still going <laughs> uh you can see it in action here i love this uh like this grunge look, right? This thing, so pretty cool. Oh, here we go. You got regular, you got bold, condensed, and condensed bold. Look at all that. That That's just the A's. And so there's all, took a lot of time doing this. I love the, like the handwritten look, the sketchy look, and this does really well. Of course, if you put the, the grunge on top of your uh, design too with your, with this. So it kind of reminds me, I, I use veneer a lot with, with uh, this grunge look and this kind of reminds me of that, but this has way more weights on it So veneer only has that one thickness, but this one you can see thick and thin and Different grunge look or how, how much it takes it off here. So pretty cool. So that's number two of the 12 uh, We're still going here. Number three is this one the 64 of these vintage mechanical blueprints so you can put this imagine this on a black t-shirt you know, with this and maybe put something about that on here. Um, yeah, some really cool stuff. Look at that. This could be really cool. You don't see this a lot because it's hard to find some of these, but you'll have it on here and there's a bunch of them. So uh, made for backgrounds and patterns. So you can do this as a pattern. You know, you can see this person or this example is using it as a pattern. You can do black on white or white on dark um, and it just works. So there's two right here just showing you how how that works here and just really detailed stuff so uh, you could use these as well on on t-shirt on print on demand and maybe put some uh, saying that goes along with it and i think it can do really well again you could use this as patterns too uh, as a bigger pattern so really cool so that's number three 64 of those so you can see some value there this one uh, number four of 12 74 professional grunge textures and overlays so that we use that a lot on print on demand on our t-shirts to give it that old vintage look normally 24 dollars but we're getting this as part of the bundle 57 uh, of those and 57 of those you can see look at that really cool and see this is what it does on photos like i said this is a um for graphic design as well as t-shirt design but you can see what it does um, to kind of make that look more vintage, that vintage look. All right, um, moving on to this one, uh, five of 12. The fifth thing in this bundle is the vintage label and badge, usually $4, but we're getting it as part of the, the bundle here. You can see, you can use this and put things inside. So there's a solid and an outline, but you can put um, words around it. You can put a graphic inside of it. It's just kind of a way to kind of frame your design and it can work really well for uh, t-shirt design. So take a look at this, look a bunch of these kind of this old timey stuff. So if you want to use these as well, you got a label here and, and so on. I think this can give your t-shirt design or your print on demand design this old timey look and, you know, kind of stand out that way. All right, move into number six here. This is another professional grunge texture and overlay. So just giving you a different version, you can see, um, just really cool stuff on here on this photo. Um, let me see, you got 74, yeah, 74 JPEG textures or PNG versions as well. So you get both you can use here. And let's just look at some of these samples. Look at that, just very grunge. So it puts that on top of it. So you can use this on in Photo P or you can use this in Affinity Designer, put it on there and kind of erase that part from the, 
from the design and use it so that it looks um, just a little bit more vintage, has that distressed look that you've seen a lot on some of these uh, print-on-demand designs when you go looking at them. That's how, that's how they get them. All right, number seven here. I like this one too. There's 230 floral designs, usually $14, but look at these uh, designs. You can use this. Uh, this would make great patterns as well, but you can use this on the side. So if you have your design in the middle, you can put some flowers or some leaves around the side like that. Um, really, really cool. Just a ton of it. Um, I love some of the details on these right here. So if you're ever looking for flowers or leaves for your designs, you got 230 of them right here that you can use. So really, really cool. All right. Uh, along with that, this is kind of the same way, but in a different style. And these are but uh, doodlings for a botanical edition, usually $16. Um, check this out. So not as detailed, more like hand drawn, but uh, just a different style of it. And I think, you know, putting, you can see how you put all of these together, make it, making it a cool pattern using like three different colors. Really cool. And this one has 300, right? Is that what it said? Oh, over 700. <laughs> I know this is crazy. Um, but um, over 300 doodlings right here too. So look at all of this. He put a lot of work into these. And again, you can use these with your design in the middle and maybe some flowers or leaves on the side and things like that. Just nice quick doodles. Just a ton of them, all of them right here. Um, and then number nine, another font, which is really cool. So sometimes you want that handwritten font. You don't want just the, the block font. And this is, this is it right here. Um, it's called Fula Quirks Handwritten Font, usually $24, part of this pack. You can see this one has different weights as well. You have thick and thin, kind of um, a little more brushed here and so on. So um, I think this one's really cool. Just four, four typefaces, four stylistic alternatives, but I think this could really be cool depending on what you put in your design. I think this can work really well for some maybe cartoon designs or, um, you know, hand-drawn kind of designs, I think this would be really good, as well as like outdoor designs, I think this could work there too. So uh, a lot of good uses for this, this font. Coming down here to number 10, this is another brush texture, but take a look at how this one looks. So we got a bunch of different brush textures here and it just works with a photo mask here. You got 29 of these here. This is more kind of a brush stroke, so you can see it like that. And it looks great, just like this right here could look like a, a t-shirt design, right? Just really uh, interesting that just use it as a background and use your text in the front. So check it out. You got vector and transparent PNG, so they would both work um, with your designs on there. All right, number 11 of 12. So you got some more paint textures. This is kind of more of a blotty um, thing. So you can see, yeah, this one would be really good for different colors. This one has 250 so if you ever need um, any textures or distress textures this one has a ton of it look at that and look how it works with on a photo here really cool i just love it that's easy to edit and entirely transparent so you can look this i think this one's using a couple of them on top of each other so yeah really cool i love the look of this this one kind of feels more like a 80s 90s kind of vibe so if you ever need that uh, in the background, sometimes you can just put that, put the color splashes in the background and then put your design on the top. I think that would look really cool. All right, last one here. This is the antique fonts collection. So you saw some of the other fonts that we have, but if you ever need something just a little bit more, uh, and, and this one could work a lot with the, with the blueprint collection, I think, but if you ever need these kind of fonts where you, you need to go kind of old timey, there is it all, all in here. So you can kind of mix and match some of these. Take a look at this one. This font is actually mixing and matching it, but a lot of cool fonts here. There's what, 12 different fonts in here. So you can use that. And it can work really well with this. This one, remember the vintage label and badges, the, the fonts that you find in this one can work really well with that. So if you ever need to kind of mix and match that, I think that's a great pairing. Here are some examples of it right here. I love this right here. Like looks like a crest, right? Um, and you can see here this this font right here kind of matches with all of that stuff. So there's your exclusive bundle, Detour shirts, Tom Chalky 
exclusive bundle. I'll have the link in the description. Um, but if you want to look at some of the other stuff, he also has that. He can unlock his entire library for $99 a year, which you saw, you can search this website and it has a ton of different things. So there you go. Hopefully you like this. I think it is well worth it, especially because one of these alone is kind of paying for all of it, right? So if you even just like one of these, I think this this deal is a great deal because you're getting 12 different things. This This one right here, I think is my favorite is this print right here. It's usually um, $49, just the text, just the font, and the whole thing is $29, which is which is crazy, right? Because you get, you get that plus 11 other things uh, for $29. So take a look at this if you like it. Um, I'll put the link in there, no pressure, but I think it's a, it's a really great deal, especially for print on demand. If you're, if you're gonna need some of these things, we all need textures if you don't have that already, good fonts and good graphics. So a lot of those things work really well together. So there you go. That's the Tom Chalky and Detour Shirts bundle collaboration. Hopefully you like it. I am getting an affiliate sale. So if you are getting this one, uh, it is really helping me. So if you want to, I'll put the link in the description, but there's no pressure. There's a lot of free stuff on Tom Chalky as well. Uh, you can go and go to that site. You can do the free bundle. You can sign up with the email and the, the newsletter with a lot of free stuff on there. So if, if you want to just do the free stuff, that's great. As well as some of the other stuff that's not in that bundle. If you go and search the website, there's a lot of the fonts and a lot of textures and a lot of graphics on his site that is not in that bundle. So go on there too. Um, just a ton of resource. Now, if you like f other free pod resources, I'll put this video right here that I did about um, five other print on demand resources that you can get for free. Um, hopefully that really helps you in your journey. Thanks again for watching. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.